Salutations, everyone. This is Razor here giving you uh, some drop zone footage on bootleg. But that's not why you're here. You want to see some juggernaut action. And you may be thinking, Razor, if you're going to be so badass that you're just going to be using this juggernaut for the majority of the game and uh, winning while playing the objective like a boss like you do, how can I be more like you? How can I be like Razor? How can I get in a juggernaut suit of my very own and start just kicking the shit out of people? Well, it's very simple. First of all, you know, you got the assault juggernaut and you got the support juggernaut. You know, the assault juggernaut is actually, to be pretty honest, it fucking sucks. It's shitty. It gives you an M60, which is, you know, better than it used to be, but uh, people just, like, bum rush you, and it's just, it, it doesn't seem like you're at much of an advantage with that juggernaut, and it's really hard to get. You know, it's like the, the, the hardest uh, assault kill streak to get. I don't know why we, you would pick that over the escort or the Osprey Gunner, but you know, so that's that's out the window. I can't even get Osprey Gunners, so why would I go for the assault juggernaut? And you know, you're thinking if you're not getting the assault juggernaut, Razor, you know, you using support? Are you a noob? Are you a scrub? But you know, I'm not. You know, I'm not going to be using no support bullshit because I'm not a noob. And I know you don't want to have to put on support because you're not noobs either because you're subscribed to me. So, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to have to go on to drop zone and uh, it takes a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill, but you got to you gotta force that juggernaut to pop out of that jack-in-the-box for you right here. And that's going to be coming up real soon. It just takes a little bit of practice and that juggernaut, bam, it'll be in your hands. And uh, you can have a grand old time with that. So what I suggest you do... Go on Drop Zone and uh, go to Taiwan and get yourself a bootleg copy of X Men United number three and get yourself a Juggernaut. It's gonna get what we get, 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 get right here. Bam on the Juggernaut, bitch. And it even tells everyone right there, Raise 13 Juggernaut. So everyone, watch the fuck out. And know you got that. You're permanently on the UAV, so. People are going to be doing one of two things. They're all going to be trying to kill you, try to get that glory and fame. Like, oh, I killed Raze13. I'm YouTube famous now. He had a Juggernaut suit on, and all I had was blah, 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 blah. Or they're all going to see, like, ah, oh, that guy is so good. I'm going to run away from him. But, you know, I'm an objective player. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on that drop zone here with my Juggernaut and my Riot Shield and my good old USP-45 that they didn't give you any attachments on, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. Because you have built in scavengers, so you don't have to worry about running out of ammo. And that uh, predator missile can't stop me. I'm a juggernaut. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. People trying to rush up on me. I, I got a pistol too. And uh, I really like the, the the support juggernaut. I think it's a ton better than the assault juggernaut. Because you're just you're gonna last longer because uh, because of that rat shield, so you can defend yourself when everyone's rushing at you. And uh, this UP45 you can do some work with since you got all the extra health with that Juggernaut suit on. So, you know, it's pretty cool. You can have yourself a ton of fun and just stay in the suit the whole game. And that's just what I'm going to be trying to do in here. And, of course, since you're the Juggernaut, you're pretty slow. So it's going to be hard to, to, you know, rush from drop zone to drop zone. Here I throw the smoke grenade, which is, you know, to be honest, a lot of overkill because there's already a shit ton of smoke over here. And this is where the lag kicks in right here. I start one bar like a motherfucker, let me tell you. And uh, it's just, just look how slow everything's going. I got this this care package is in my way. I can't move. I'm roadblocked like a semi. And uh, finally, go get over here to this drop zone. Start dropping plus 20s like it's hot. You know, just getting just getting those, uh, those Jacksons, those $20 bills, just racking up and up and up. And you can get a crap ton of points if you got that juggernaut suit on and you're just going from drop zone to drop zone. And so that's what I try to do. You know I always try to play the objectives because that's just the way I like to play the game. And I know it's not the most popular way, Call of Duty, especially Modern Warfare 3. But it's still what I like to do. My end goal is to win because uh, I don't really see the purpose of, you know, winning if you're, uh, if you're not trying. So I try to win. That's what I do. A little Yogi Bearism for you. This guy's hiding in a corner. I'm not going to have any of that shit, dude. You can't hide from the juggernaut. Get pistol whipped, son. And these guys know where I am, so it looks like they're just going to all try to run away from me, try to get to the their drop zone, maybe get a kill streak that could take me out. But they ain't going to have no such luck because uh, I got this riot shield that's going to protect me whenever these guys try to rush up on me and, uh, you know, wait for my health to regenerate and I can, you know, get that USP whip it right back out there. 
I'm just dropping plus 20s in here. I decide to, I know these guys are all going to be spawning up here, so I'm just going to give my teammates a break. Get a little crowd control action just to start pissing these guys off by just blocking the road. You know, being I'm not only the juggernaut, I'm the blob because I'm an immovable force. You can't stop me. You just you can't move me once I got that riot shield on and these little juggernaut goggles. Trying to rush me up, bam, we get a smack you, son, and get, damn, crowd control. You get assists like crazy with this thing, which is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, they just, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this out. I just, I just figured, uh, I'm just gonna stay in the suit, you know, as long as I can. I'm not gonna try to go for a bunch of kills and get myself wiped out in the process. I'm just, uh, just kind of play the objective and just rack up those plus 20s like crazy. And, uh... I, I like using a riot shield and I like using a pistol, so, uh, try to stab me. Who the fuck do you think I am? Get pistol whip, son. It's a shame they don't give you, like, a, a better pistol, like the PP90, or, like, uh, or the, the P99. Sorry. Don't, don't hate me in the comments because I misspoke. Or, like, the, uh, MP412s or something like that, but, you know, without sleight of hand, I guess that's okay. Uh, 57 might have been nice, even though that gun kind of sucks. It uh, has a bigger ammo capacity, but the USP 45 is okay. There's nothing, nothing too bad about it. You know, probably middle of the road. Doesn't suck. It's not great uh, either. You're just racking up these plus 20s, stopping these guys from picking up their own uh, care packages. I don't give a fuck what they are because I already got the only care packages that I really need. So uh, I'm just, just, I'm just gonna rack up the points because that's what I'm after. After the points, after the win. Get on, son. Trying to get me with that frag grenade. Get that shit out of my kitchen. Get pistol whipped. You see these guys just rushing up here. They're just flooding this hallway. Got this riot shield. And people really don't seem to utilize that riot shield whenever they get that support juggernaut because uh, people aren't used to using the riot shield, so they really don't know how to use it. And as you know, I pride myself on my versatility and the lethality I could bring to my team with any weapon in my disposal, and that includes using a riot shield as well as a pistol. So that's just what I'm going to be doing. And so. People don't know, my people might know that you can deflect bullets when the right shield's on your back. Everyone kind of knows that because they see that stupid tip that's in the pre-game lobby. But knife the bullets invest there. You ain't, can't be juggernaut like me, son. But uh, you know you can you can use that to your advantage. Put that right shield on your back and uh, just like face toward the objective or whatever. So you can be defending on your back and be offensive on your front. So just utilize that to the best of your ability. And you can just rack up plus 20s like me. See, we got a pretty good lead here. And I know these guys aren't going to be able to stop me unless they can rush me up or something. And they're trying their darndest here. I'm pretty close to death. See all these uh, uh, hit marker indicators from all corners. But uh, I still got this drop zone on lock. I got it on lock. This isn't locked down. This bootleg. But I still got this shit on lock. And uh, with this advanced uh, UAV uh, that my teammate got, uh, you know, it's a pretty lethal combination. I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. Put, like 900 bullets in that fool. Man, that was crazy. But uh, drop some switches over here, and thankfully, teammates already got it. This guy's got a javelin. You can't cram that missile down my throat, son. Get pistol whip. Try. Ah, oh, man. Not enough bullets in the chamber. Could have got the triple feed instead. I get taken out. And that was a shame. If I would have had one more bullet, that guy would have been gone. Or. Maybe there wasn't so much lag, or maybe if I, you know, didn't go for the kill or whatever. But thus ends the journey of the Juggernaut, but I still got this uh, remote sentry, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, decide to use it, since, uh, you know, just helping out my team here, getting all these, these uh, last kills as my teammates hopefully can hop on this drop zone so this game can end. These guys got blind eye, and they got assassin, doesn't matter. I'm going to shoot these fools. What are you doing, bitch? Get on. <laughs> see all these teammates fucking getting in my way. And it's kind of nice that you can see through the walls to sentry your gun so you know where the uh, where the enemies are coming from, but I don't know. It's, I don't like being out of the action for too long, so I go ahead and hop out of there and <laughs> try to pick up this UAV, but unfortunately I get killed by this javelin bitch. Only bitches use javelin. It ain't OP, but it's annoying as fuck and shouldn't be in the game, so I don't know. That's why I hate it. So I'm just rounding out the game here. It's going to be ended up here pretty soon. Only got like 800 more score to go. And my teammates are doing a pretty good job of at least staying on the objective. And I'm going to pick up a couple guys off with this, uh, this R South of the Star Mall. As you can see, this game is pretty old because I don't even have the puppy gold yet. So I'm just going to... Oh, triple feed. What up, son? The game's going to end right here. My final score isn't isn't too great because, you know, I'm pretty slow. With that Juggernaut Sudan, couldn't get a lot of kills. But that didn't get killed a lot either, so... 
it's something like 33 or 4 or something like that. I don't know. It's going to be showing up here pretty soon as the game is going to be wrapping up here. Can we get the, the kill up before the game's over? And bam! Just under the 7 uh, 50, 50 mark or whatever the hell the game ends at. But uh, I get the game winning kill here too, which is pretty cool. What up, son? Get in my scope. Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. My final score here is 33 kills, 13 assists, 5 deaths, with a nice little score of 4,870. Uh, likes, dislikes, comments, always appreciated. And I'll see you guys later.